It's a number that is on the rise. Good evening, I'm Chris Flanagan. And I'm Danita Harris. Murders in the city of Cleveland going in the wrong direction. There's already been 19 so far this year. That's up 140% at the same time just four years ago. And several remain unsolved. New Channel 5's Michael Baldwin is live and new at 11 tonight. And Michael, many of us have a hard time putting a face to these crimes, but we know every victim has family, friends, even co-workers who mourn them and they want justice. They do, Danita, and in the moment you'll meet the mother of a murder victim. Now, it's not clear exactly what can be done, but we did speak with a local councilman who says he wants more cops walking the beat. Police are still searching for the killer of Stephen Halton Jr. He was the Cleveland Clinic worker that was on his way to his job when he was shot and killed. Over the past five years, the number of murders at this point in time are up. When you look at right now, we haven't even had 19 weeks and we've already had 19 murders. And next week, we are approaching the one-year anniversary of Eliza Sherman. She was killed in downtown Cleveland, and that murder is still unsolved. Other high-profile unsolved murders approaching one year include Jasmine Trotter. She was killed while walking along East 93rd Street. Christine Malone was also killed along East 93rd. Councilman Zach Reed says we need more police in high crime areas. First of all, we need to increase the amount of community policing. I mean, the fact that police officers need to be walking and talking now, the fact that they need to be more engaged with the community as a whole. This is a video tribute to Matthew Huffman. His mom said if you never met him, you missed out on a great guy. He was killed less than 100 days ago in December. Tonight, his family had a vigil and walked to the area where he died trying to rescue his friend. He was shot in the chest by three people in a random shooting near the RTA station at West 140th and Lorraine. His mom has a message for his killers. And, you know, he's gone. And I'll never get to see him get married. I'll never get to see him have any children. And I spent my entire life trying to keep him safe and healthy and happy and you took that from me. Now Huffman's murder, like all the murders that we mentioned, are still unsolved and the victim's families would like anyone in the public that may know something to please come forward and say something. Well, live on your side in Cleveland, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. And Michael, we know solving these murders will definitely help the families along in their healing process. Absolutely.